We've had a very exciting year at MoTeC. We've done a lot of development on a number of our products and uh, created some new products as well. Uh, the main products we've been working on this year have been engine management, uh, data logging and displays, power distribution and telemetry. Our engine management system uh, that we've been working on for many years is the, the MoTeC M1 system. Uh, we've been doing a lot of development on that. We use a, a program to develop applications on that called M1 Build. We've now made M1 Build available to anyone who wants to use it. And what this means is that the end user is not restricted uh, in, the, in the way they were with previous ECUs. Uh, M1 Build will allow the end user to effectively create their own ECU code. Uh, the advantage of that is that instead of being restricted by traditional tuning methods where you are adjusting numbers in tables and adjusting parameters, you can now write your own ECU code. So if you have a particular strategy that you want to develop, you're not restricted by what the ECU can do, you're, you're able to develop that to the full extent of its potential. So that could be something, for example, like a particular gear cut strategy, uh, it could be a traction control strategy, or it could be that you want to run an engine that has some unusual characteristics that you need to develop. Um, with, the, with the engine ECU, we've also made a range of packages available that are, that are what we call general purpose packages. And this allows you to use the ECU in a more traditional way. So if, you're, if you don't have the requirement to write your own ECU code or you don't, uh, or you, or you don't have the resources to do that, you can take one of our generic packages, put it in the ECU and tune it to suit the particular engine that you want to run. With our power distribution modules, we've, we've had those um, out in the marketplace for many years now. They've really transformed the way people wire their cars up and they've got lots and lots of possibilities. We've been listening to the feedback that we get from our customers and, and done a lot more development on that. Uh, we've opened up the, uh, the ability to configure the, the CAN communications on it much more and we've made a CAN-based switch module, so a keypad that's connected via CAN that allows you to reduce the wiring in the vehicle. Yeah, also with our data logging systems, we've, uh, we've recently released a, a new range of dash loggers which have colour screens on them. Uh, we've done further development for that now and we, we've made available a, a program that we call Display Creator, which allows the end user to create their own design on the, on the colour screen. So rather than be restricted by the designs that we've put in there as a default, uh, if you want to customise that, either customise the layout or the look and feel of it, uh, the end user can do that. Uh, we've also uh, introduced a, a new telemetry system, which is based on our I2 data analysis. Uh, it allows multiple, multiple overlays, it allows you to overlay telemetry data with log data from a previous session and um, all the features that are contained within I2. So, um, real-time maths channels and things like that are all possibilities. We've had an exciting year in, in 2013, we've been very busy and all of these new developments are going to really inspire our, our customers to uh, gain more from our products and we're very excited to see what people are going to do during 2014.